All right. And there's other people that are supposed to be joining on, um, but we'll just uh, briefly pause to let them in and just continue on. So, okay. So this morning, um, it's it, this class is just is all about essential oil basics. It was actually it was a very it was a very easy class to put together, um, but it was an enjoyable. And so sometimes I find that I like to go into details and you know just kind of get real stick with things. And um, uh, but this class was it was actually uh, refreshingly to put together uh, because of the simplicity of it. So we're just going to kind of talk about some of the some of the uh, the basics of essential oils. Uh, we're going to talk about the basic essential oils. In other words, what are the essential oils that we all should have sitting in our boxes, sitting on our counters, and being used in our life on a day to day basis? So we're going to talk about some of those basics. Then I wanted to talk about uh, something that I'm dealing with right at the present. Um, and and uh, some remedies for uh, what I'm dealing with, because I know if I'm dealing with it, uh, everybody is dealing with it because we're all people, right? We all deal with the same things, right? Uh, we get maybe allergies. We might have some sinus issues. We get headaches. We have trouble sleeping, maybe problems with anxiety or whatever it might be, right? We all deal with those. So I've got a few slides at the end of the at the end of the class, so we're going to go into some of those issues, um, and then I'm going to um, I'm going to give away. Um, it's been a little while since I gave away nasal inhalers, so I've been using this. Um, I just made this one up, and I like it. And we're going to talk a little bit about the importance of nasal inhalers and why everybody should have one. Okay, then I'm going to give two of them away. All right, so. Um, let's go ahead and get started. Um, at the very end, we have a little treat with our uh, with Sharon. She's going to uh, present a couple a couple of things. Um, but let's go ahead and get started. So, what are essential oils? We all know that they smell wonderful. We all know that they're that they're very very powerful. They're potent. Um, we all know that we can ingest them. That we can. Uh, diffuse them, that we can put them on our skin. We, we all basically know those things. But by definition, an essential oil is a natural, highly concentrated compound that's found in the roots, the bark, the seeds, the flowers, stems, right? There's all, all kinds of places uh, in the plant that these oils, uh, that we get them from, that they're derived from. So Essential oils, they give the plant the aroma, okay? Such as if, if you smell uh, a magnolia uh, tree, or I'm sorry, plant, a uh, bush, I don't even know what you would classify magnolia as, but they smell wonderful. And so the essential oil also is going to smell wonderful. So it's derived from that plant, that same aroma, that for whatever reason, and there's multitudes of reasons why plants have aroma. Some is attraction, okay? Attracting a bee, attracting a pollinator, very, very important for the plant's life cycle. But they're also a, a deterrent for other insects, right? Such as the oil of the arbor vitae, okay? That's a tree that's grown in Canada. It smells absolutely wonderful. I love it. It's one of my favorite oils. Um, Arbor vitae comes from the tree of life. Well, that oil is from what, what this tree gives off to deter the bugs, okay? So some are attractive and some deter. Now, uh, these essential oils, they protect the plant from harsh environments, condition and insects, like I just said, play a role in plant pollination also, like I just said. Um, but there are so many benefits to essential oils. And that's really what we want to focus on is that how can we benefit? We understand that these are things that were given to us by God that are naturally occurring, that, we, that we've got all around us. And in, in many cases, there is an abundance of them, right? Um, and so we're, we're looking at how can we benefit from these beautiful smelling uh, plants and flowers? Um, fruits, you know, all, like I was saying, all of these, these different parts of the plant. 
Um, so how do they help us? Well, very good for skin issues. Uh, that is probably one of the biggest things that I use essential oils for is for my face. I put them on morning, sometimes noon and night. As a matter of fact, I keep my Immortel right here on my desk, right? Um, this Immortel and this little roller thing, right? Oh my goodness, unbelievable. Just so, so my, so my thing is, is that I, I just, I don't want to get wrinkles. I see, you know, wrinkles on women. They, they, they make you look older than, than you are, or they just give away your age. Right. And so what we want to do is we want to kind of, you know, just kind of trick people, right. Um, make people believe that even without makeup on, right. Cause we understand, you know, makeup, you know, kind of, you know, accentuates your, your, your skin's appearance in, in some way. Um, or hopefully that's what it's supposed to do. Um, but what about without makeup, right? Now, ever since COVID-19 hit, I stopped wearing makeup. And then of course, you know, learning about what's in these makeups and we're putting them on our, on our, on our skin. It's just, it's so counterproductive of what we're trying to do. And so I decided within myself that, hey, if I have to wear a mask on when I'm going out, who cares what it even looks like, right? Who cares if I have if I have makeup on or not? Of course, sometimes I put a little something on my eyes or whatever. But my point being is that one of the biggest reasons that I use essential oils are for my skin. And let me tell you, have they helped? They really have. Um, and so, you know, if you're trying to keep your skin looking young, essential oils are definitely going to be a, a benefit to you in that, all right? Uh, and doTERRA's got just a lot of oils for uh, for the skin. Essential oils, very good for, di for uh, a healthy digestive tract, okay? Um, it, that we, there are oils that, that help with so many different issues that we might be having, whether it's gas, bloating, um, just poor digestion, right? For a variety of different reasons. Um, if we've eaten something that we shouldn't have eaten, right? Do we have to suffer? Oftentimes we do. Where you know, I know the other day or yesterday when I had my grandkids, you know, it's like, uh, you know, we had pizza, you know, and my stomach was not not liking it very much at all. And you know, it's like, do do we have to just suffer with those things, or is there something that if these are our conditions that we deal with on a day in day out basis, why not try something that that very well might help? OK, and so we have oils and we're going to talk about um, one of those oils that is very, very good for digestion. Um, OK, what about supporting a healthy immune function? That is big today. Right. Everybody's talking about the immune system. Right. Well, the funny thing is, is that we've been talking about the immune system for a long time. Right. It just so happens that now it's the buzzword. Now it's the, the topic of conversation. Now it's something that everybody is an expert on. Right. Is, is the immune system. Right. Well, there are some processes that happen within that immune system that are unbelievable, unbelievably complex. And it is so interesting. And I'm not going to go into all of those things. It's, it is such a, an interesting thing for me. I could literally just get lost in just that one body system just because it is so unbelievable how that this was something that was given to us. It was given to us. So what do the essential oils do? Essential oils do not make for a strong immune system. They help our bodies to make a strong immune system. Okay, so that's really important, right? So our bodies are doing the work. The essential oils are giving the aid that's necessary, okay? Um, promoting restful sleep. This is really big. There are so many people that I talk to every day that are not sleeping as they should. Guess what? If you don't sleep, your immune system is already compromised. If you don't sleep, your nervous system is already compromised. There is a direct link to depression and um, amnesia, um, insomnia. There's a direct link to anxiety and insomnia. There's a direct link to so many different disease processes and the fact that people are just not sleeping, right? You can't think straight if you, if you don't get yourself a good night's sleep, right? Very, very important to be able to get a restful sleep. Well, I'm going to talk about some, just like I was saying about the, 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 uh, the nasal inhaler, I'm going to talk about some blends 
that we can actually put together that if we're having issues sleeping, put it on your nightstand. The, the, the fastest way to introduce oils to your brain is going to be through inhalation because there is a direct link to what you breathe and to your, to your processes that, that go on in your brain. It's unbelievably fascinating, um, but just suffice it to be said that that is the fastest way to change processes. It, it's, it's called your limbic system, and it's directly tied to the olfaction, which is your breathing, okay? Your smelling, your inhalation, all right? So very, very important. Um, and so I'm going to give a, a few little uh, tips on, uh, in regards to that. Um, occasional stomach upset goes along with the healthy digestion. And then there are so many more things. Like I was talking about, the emotional benefit of essential oils is not one to be underestimated. This is big. The, the, the emotional benefits that we get by what it is that we smell, by what it is that we bring in through our, our nasal passages, not our mouth, our nasal passages, okay? There's also a direct link, uh, as most of you know, to your smell and, and even to your taste. But we're talking about the limbic system, which is going to be through the, the process of, of olfaction. These are some of the benefits of essential oils. Essential oils are calming, OK, well, now that's that in itself is a big one. You know, anybody who's who's got problems with, you know, with this, with with staying calm. A lot of the kids in today, since this, uh, today's world is just, you know, sometimes they're just off the chain, not calm. Right. Well, what if we could what if we could provide some solutions uh, to, to, to help? Right. Uh, what about energy? Right. Uh, what about just soothing and just relaxing, renewing, invigorating, uplifting. These are all things that we understand that we, we want to possess these things. We want to have these in their appropriate times, right? There are times where, where we, we've we got to not be calm, right? Right? There are times where we've got to be pumped up, you know? If there's a fire, got to go, right? No calmness out the window, right? Uh, that's when you need a little bit of energy, right? But my point being is that in, in their given uh, and their proper times, right, all things as we understand that there's a time for, right? So there's a time for calmness, but then there's a time for having that energy, right? Such as when you just said your grandkids, <laughs> you need that energy, right? Um, and so, so that's what I'm saying. Essential oils uh, have the potential to help with so many different things. What we need to do is we need to find the oils that speak to us, okay? Now, I'm not talking about, you know, a bottle of oil we're having a conversation with, okay? I'm talking about in our limbic system, in our, in our bodily processes, what is the oil that, that, that helps you, that, that draws you, that pulls you out, right? Um, such as what I was telling you about with Arbor Vitae. There's something about that oil that just benefits me in ways that, I mean, I, I can't really even describe. Ylang Ylang, it's another one. It, it, it speaks to me in ways that it relaxes me, it soothes me, it makes me happy. It really does. Um, and so it's, it's unbelievable how valuable these oils can be for so many different things. Whether it's neurological in your limbic system, or whether it's uh, maybe in your respiratory system, opening up those airways. We're going to talk a lot about that at the end of this class. There's all of these ways that each individual oil can actually speak to us and actually work with us, with our particular body, because all of us are different. Our metabolic processes are different. That's why some people, they have diabetes and others don't. That's a metabolic issue, right? Right. Uh, let's let's say I, I I eat candy, which you know actually you know as a candy queen, right? <laughs> now I just like M and M's, peanut peanut butter M and M's. Um, but it's like, but I don't have diabetes. Why is that? But then why is there other people who don't consume a lot of sugar? Why do they? Well, there's a difference in metabolic processes that that happen. We are all different. OK, we, we've got different genes, right? We, we've inherited whether it's whether it's our 
uh, our nationalities, right? There's different issues, different disease processes that, that target certain nationalities or male, female, right? Young, old. There's all of these process, all of these disease processes that target specific people for different reasons, right? So we understand that, you know, different essential oils are going to work better for different people. Okay. Now, what I want everybody to do is to get out their phones or have, be ready to take some snapshots. I'm going to go through some things rather quickly. Um, we're going to talk about 10 oils. Um, and then at the end, I have got some information that I really hope is going to help each and every one of you. That is the intent of what I put together. I'm hoping that it's going to help. Okay, and we're going to discuss very much so the nasal inhaler. Okay, and I'm going to give a couple of these away at the end of class. So we all understand aromatic use. We all understand diffusing. We all understand even if you don't have a diffuser, what's, what's your favorite oil? Think about it to yourself. Don't tell me what's your favorite oil. Take out your bottle right now. Put a drop of it on, on the palm of your hand. Everybody do that real quick with me. Okay, this is aromatic use. I've got breathe, and I'm gonna I'm gonna talk to you guys a lot about breathe. Put it in the palm of your hands and rub your hands together. And inhale. Oh my goodness, did that open up my sinuses? It also opens up everything in my airways, going all the way down to my lungs. Taking another breath in. Unbelievably powerful is, is this smell. That's, that's the power of breathe. All righty, um, let's keep on going. Okay, now we've got the topical use of essential oils. Okay, now I talked a little bit about that with my face, but here are some other beneficial areas, your neck, your forehead, your temples. There's no better way to relieve stress and tension then by rubbing a drop of peppermint along the back, even, even breathe because this has peppermint in it. I particularly like deep blue. Um, and it's probably because of the wintergreen, um, but it's very, very helpful to relieve any kind of tension rubbing on, on your, on your, uh, on your shoulders as well. Very, very beneficial. Just be very careful if, you know, if you do have a, a cut or something, because that could definitely cause some issues. Um, all right, internal use. Now, I hope that everybody out there has some veggie caps. If you don't, get yourself some. Okay, doTERRA sells them. I think there's like 80 capsules. Sharon, maybe if you can grab your bottle while I'm talking. I think there's like 80 capsules in there. Uh, I think it's like four or five bucks. It's, it's really, really cheap, but everybody should have them. Why? Because let's say you were to be coming down with something. You could open up a capsule, throw in a couple drops of oregano, a couple drops of thyme, a couple drops of frankincense, a couple drops of, of peppermint, a couple drops of lemon or on guard and down the hatch as, as a, a power pack punch, right? To get rid of whatever it is, just to give your body some support to fight off whatever it is that, that, it's, that it, it's coming down with, okay? Uh, veggie caps are just so, so great. They're so easy. You don't have to put it under your tongue or put it in water, which some oils are great in oil, or I'm sorry, in water, but I would never be putting oregano in water and drinking it for two reasons. One, is it taste, you know, well, like oregano, <laughs> which I don't particularly care for. Two is it's a hot oil. There are some oils that are considered hot oils, oregano, thyme, clove, cinnamon bark, cassia. Um, there are some oils, peppermint, they're, that they're considered hot oil. In other words, when it comes into contact with your skin, it might produce a reaction. Your skin might, might get red, it might feel hot, it might burn. You just gotta be very, very careful with hot oils, right? You, you wanna make sure that you cut them. If you're gonna put them on your skin, that you dilute them with a little bit of fractionated coconut oil or vegetable oil, something like that. Avocado oil, jojoba oil, some type of an oil because they, they might cause some type of a skin sensitivity. Okay, and I know we're talking about internal use and here I am going off on a tangent talking about skin, but my whole point there was just talking about how that certain oils um, are very, very good to go into a veggie capsule 
and down the hatch. All right, so what oil should you start with? Well, there's good old lemon. Lemon is probably one of the most versatile oils that we've got. I mean, you, it's, it's good for anything from, from gallstones to kidney stones to, to uh, detox to, to whitening your nails to oily skin. I mean, my goodness, you can clean with it. It's an unbelievable oil. OK, and it is about as versatile as versatile can be. Of course, we cannot talk about essential oils without talking about lavender. Lavender's catchphrase is all things calming. OK, anything from high blood pressure to your your mental state to sleep to skin issues. If you have a rash, if you have a bug bite, it calms everything down, calms everybody down. If you got a kid that's maybe not so calm, we'll put a little bit of lavender on the bottom of their feet or diffuse it into the air. Try it out, see if it works. These, like I say, these 10 oils that we're gonna go through are oils that everybody should have in your home because you can address almost every, every issue that comes your way with one or two or three or many of these essential oils, these 10 of them, okay? Peppermint. Peppermint, I have been diffusing profusely. Why? Because bugs hate peppermint, okay? We love peppermint, but bugs hate peppermint, okay? Now, peppermint is an unbelievable oil for the digestive system. If you don't believe me, try it out. Put a drop of peppermint in your water after you, you've eaten maybe, you know, some heavy pasta or something like that. Maybe your stomach is kind of feeling some kind of way. Try it out. It's, it's wonderful. It's absolutely, and it, not to mention how good it smells. In your diffuser, smells wonderful. I pair peppermint with lemongrass because it gives a fruity, uh, minty, and it, it the smell, because both of those oils are very powerful. They both have a very strong smell, right? They will fill that, that room. And boy, I'll tell you, when people walk in, they will be commenting on your house. Now, let me tell you, and it'll be all good. Frankincense. Frankincense is one. And, and I've got probably about a handful of my absolute faves. And this is one. Um, I like, in particular, I like taking frankincense and putting it on the crown of my head, just a couple drops. Um, it is very good for any type of cognition, okay? If you, if you have issues with memory, um, if you're getting to that age where, you know, maybe dementia is, is you know, on, the, on the, the horizon or whatever, take, use this daily, more than once daily, as a preventative measure. They're, they are doing so many studies on frankincense and your, uh, your mental cognition, it's unbelievable. Johns Hopkins, as well as other uh, uh, teaching hospitals are doing some tremendous research on this one oil. This is also, um, it's an it's a, uh, um, anti-neoplastic. What it does is it prevents cancers from, from actually forming. They're doing studies on that also. This oil is unbelievable in its versatility and in its uses. It's very good for skin. I put it on my face every day and I ingest it. Very important to be ingesting frankincense, okay? It works in the cells in ways that are just unbelievable. And we can, we can have a whole class, and I have actually, on frankincense. And we can talk for an hour or more on this one oil. It's called the king of the oils for a reason. All right, now there's On Guard. On Guard, it helps your already incredible immune system to act even more incredible, okay? So it's providing support. It's providing your immune system with what your immune system needs to do its job to its best ability, okay? Not to mention that this oil smells unbelievable when you when you diffuse it okay um it just smells unbelievable all right here's the oil that i was talking about about uh for our digestive system all right now digest zen um usually is either a love it or hate it relationship okay um it's not an oil that i find that i need um or want very often um but let me tell you those times when i did need it and i used it my goodness, did it work. 
a matter of fact, one time it was me and a friend of mine. We, you know, I, I'm not sure we had both eaten. We had both eaten out or whatever, and we're on our way to Bible class. And, uh, you know, our stomachs are, you know, hurting from whatever we ate. And, and so I was like, come on, let's do this. And so we both put it on our, we, all you do is just take three drops, put it on your stomach or put it in your hand and rub it on your stomach. Even better would be is if, is if you already prepped your stomach with like a fractionated coconut oil or an olive oil, something like that, to actually draw this, the, the oils in even better. Never water fractionated coconut oil, some type of an oil. What it does is it pulls it in even more. Anyway, you just take a couple drops of that, you rub it on your stomach. If you're having gas, bloating, indigestion, whatever it might be from, you know, one of those, one of those meals, right? You rub it on your stomach and boy, did it work. And not only did it work, but it worked very fast. Unbelievable. So like I say, digestion is an, it's an unbelievably awesome oil. All right, then there's oregano. We talked about oregano. Um, oregano is um, not to mention that we all understand that this is widely used in cooking. This oil is powerful. It's antibacterial, antifungal, antiviral. This oil has gives some benefits that is just incredible. OK, matter of fact, the, um, the health industry has actually taken this oil and really turned it into a, a, a marketing sensation. I mean, they've got oregano in every form, right, because it is so powerful for so many different things. One of the best ways to go ahead and use oregano would be to, to put it on the bottom of your feet. Um, that's that's one of the ways that you can use it. Put it on the bottom of your feet and you go ahead and, you know, you, you uh, sleep um, and then you, you know, it's it's very, very good for warding off things, especially at this time of the year. Um, another very beneficial way is in that veggie cap that we talked about. OK, getting oregano into your body is really, really beneficial and very, very helpful for all of our bodily functions. You would never. At any time, you would never need more than three drops, okay? That's not just for oregano, it's for any of the oils. Just use them in moderation, okay? Um, and that's what makes, I mean, this bottle that you see right in front of you, it's got about 250 drops of oil, okay? Now, if you figure that you only need three drops per dose, well, this bottle is lasting you a long time, all right? So this is an investment that these oils are going to last us for a long time. All right, deep blue. Now I talked just a little bit about deep blue when it comes to muscle tension, um, but there's also one really, really nice thing. Deep blue has got helichrysum. And helichrysum is very, very good for broken bones. Um, it's, it's good for blood clots. I just found that out recently. Um, deep blue is an unbelievably uh, beneficial oil. You should all have it. Now I have it um, in these forms, but I also have, it's a, it's a rub. Um, and for those of you who do not have the deep blue rub, you don't know what you're missing out on, okay? It feels good. After, after getting out of the shower, um, every now and again, you know, my back will be hurting or whatever, and I've got this little self-back massager, and I'll put just a little pea size on it, and I'll rub it around, and oh, does my back feel so good. It feels so, so good. It, it tingles. It just, it, feels, it just feels good. Um, and so that's something that I would definitely suggest that everybody go ahead and try. Now, Melaleuca, it's no longer called Melaleuca anymore. It's called Chi Tree. Um, and you're going to notice that the difference between this particular Melaleuca and what we now have is called Tea Tree. It is from a different part of that plant. And that is why the bottle is saying not for uh, internal use. Whereas Melaleuca says on the bottle that you can take it internally. So I know that there's a lot of questions and concerns and controversy over it, but just know that doTERRA in using this other part, it, it is something that, that they're going to put not for internal use. So I just wanna make sure everybody knows that, but this is actually a, 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 an essential oil that can be used as like a prescription this is an incredibly valuable oil. I always tell, you know, say, you know, you rub it on your, on your throat and on your neck with a little bit of lemon. Very, very good. If you feel like you're coming down with something, you want 
see, and that's key. If if you get if you get an upper respiratory infection, okay, maybe maybe your nose, and it might not be that you're that you've got an infection. It's just maybe something is invading, whether or not it's actually infected you yet. Um, maybe your nose is is stuffy, you're runny, and maybe your sinuses is upper. Once it gets to to right around this point, okay, of of your larynx, now it's going and it's turning into a lower respiratory infection. That's what you don't want. You want to stop it before it goes down. Okay. That's why gargling uh, uh, with, with maluku, with tea tree, uh, with on guard, get it while it's still up here. Don't let it go down below. Okay. That's when we have problems. All right. Breathe. This is my last, my last one. We are going to talk about breathe. Why are we going to talk about breathe? Well, because of the time of the year that it is, right? It's the changing of seasons. And what happens when seasons change? Well, you start to get a, a stuffy nose, you might get headaches, you might get just, just you know, different, different issues, right? Um, and so this is an essential oil that is so, so powerful. Remember when I told everybody to take a, a drop and put it in their hand and rub their hands together? Well, I did mine with Breathe, okay? And literally, it just smells wonderful. And it opens everything up. It's a very, very beneficial oil to have during those times of year where there are seasonal changes, where your body is now bombarded with things that maybe it wasn't bombarded with before. It's very good to rub on your chest. And I didn't bring the Breathe Vapor Stick, but I do have a picture of it right here. Um, this, this is, everybody knows what VIX is, right? I know I, I used to love VIX. Okay. Well, this is something that you can use in place of VIX. It gives you the ingredients, but without all of the, the unnatural products, petroleum type things, right? So very, very good to rub on your chest, rub on your neck to help to open things up. Okay. So this is a very, uh, very nice tool to have in your in your toolkit. All right, these respiratory drops, I've got some right here. And I like to give these out. Um, matter of fact, I'm going to be giving some out along with the, uh, the inhaler stick. And what I'm going to do with this inhaler stick is I'm going to put some breathe on there uh, to get you started. So an inhaler stick, we're going to talk about that in just a minute. So these are the, the, uh, the breathe products. All right, you've got the oil. You've got the touch, which the touch means that you don't have to touch it with your fingers. You could literally just roll it on wherever you might want it um, and, and, and you're good to go. Um, they've got the respiratory drops and then the vapor sticks. Now, we want to talk a little bit about inhalation and in particular, the nasal inhalers, okay? So there are, there are different kinds of nasal inhalers. This is one of them, this is another, okay? This is your, your plain Jane with no last name version, right? It's just a little plastic applicator, it screws on, okay? Screws on, you unscrew it, and you literally just breathe it in, right? On both sides. This particular vapor stick has breathe in there and it smells it smells wonderful going going in it opens everything up and it works it's so nice to just whoops it's so nice to just keep it in your purse you can just throw it in your in your car you know on the on the uh, um the little console area there and you always have it right it works and it lasts this this breathe because it's all sealed right this this thing screws on it's all sealed so that breathe is going to last for a little bit Okay, so this is what I've got, and this is what I'm going to be giving out. So I've got um, all different colors in my little bag here. Um, and so this is this is what I'm going to be giving out is some uh, inhaler sticks, okay? And um, you're gonna love them, okay? So inhaling, really, really beneficial for nasal congestion, allergies, and even headaches. Oh my, this is big, right? This is big. This is such an easy 
delivery method to just, I mean, just hang on to this, carry it around, whatever, just keep it where, or just keep several of them. It's really good to put a little label on there. Okay. And, and the ones that I give out will have a little label and I'm going to put, it's just going to say breathe because it's going to be breathe in there. And you just know that it's anything respiratory, right? Whether you got a stuffy nose, whether you're coughing, whatever it might be, that's what this um, is going to be uh, good for. But these are, take some snapshots. This is how you use uh, an uh, essential oil inhaler stick. Um, okay, and now these are a couple of the oils that are very, very beneficial to have in, uh, to have to, you know, to put in the inhaler stick. And we're going to have some recipes that are, that are going to be coming up. Lavender, like we were talking about, about sleep. How about putting a few drops of lavender on here? Even better, how about a few drops of lavender, a few drops of vetiver, and maybe even a few drops of frankincense? And my goodness, I actually, I think I should make one of those things up. Um, but anyway, look at that rosemary. Very, very good for concentration. Very, very good for focus, right? Rosemary, very, very good. Like, let's say you're going to Bible class and, you know, you find yourself falling asleep. How about a little bit of peppermint and rosemary? Throw it in your Bible bag, right? Use it as you need it. All right, so here are some recipes. Calming and relaxing, early morning boost, and here's an and or. Um, energy boost inhaler, you've got your recipe right here, grapefruit, peppermint, lemon, lime. How awesome. I mean, it, it, you, you could just, you could almost smell it just, just list, just when you see those, the, the list of ingredients, right? It's going to be pepperminty fruity, right? Pepperminty fruity. How about nausea, jet lag, mental fatigue? Look at all of these, these little recipes, allergies, happy. That's one of my favorite the essential oils. I think I'm going to try that one. Ylang Ylang, orange and lavender. That one really really sounds like it would it would be very, very nice. Um, here you go. Sinus congestion and mild headache. Peppermint, eucalyptus, basil, or peppermint, eucalyptus, and rosemary. Wouldn't that be worth a try? If you're somebody who deals with headaches on a regular basis, if you're someone who deals with allergies on a regular basis, wouldn't it be worth trying? I think it would. And to me, this is such an easy way to experience essential oils. Tension headache. Awesome. We already talked about headaches, but this is just another uh, recipe. Allergy uh, recipe, sleep aid recipe. Now, marjoram is known for, for uh, you know, to, to be very, very good to, to diffuse, you know, when you're going to sleep. Cedarwood as well. Uh, focus and motivation. Um, again, I see rosemary in here. Rosemary is very, very big for, uh, for focus. All right. Now, off of that topic, and I want to just very, very briefly talk about Madagascar vanilla. Okay. And then I'm going to give it over to Sharon to say a couple of words before we close. Uh, Madagascar vanilla, I just got it. And so I am learning about this essential oil the best ways that 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 uh, that I can use it, I actually um, I've got uh, several different um, diffuser blends. I am right now I am diffusing behind me in my little diffuser over there. I've got root beer float going. Now, this is awesome. Wintergreen and vanilla. Who would have thought some of some of these diffuser blends? I absolutely love diffuser blends. I like changing them up and trying different things, especially at night. I always like trying something different. Um, but who would who would have guessed that some of these blends actually can be blend together to smell so wonderful, right? If anybody has gotten that new Evolve, and I don't have it right here, it's over there. I have been using it every day. It's it's the Evolve. I gotta go grab it. It's right here. If you don't have this, you are missing out because let me tell you, my daughter fell in love with it too. I had to, I had to give her some of this in a, in a bottle. Okay. So this is called Evolve. Okay. This is, this was the theme of uh, the last convention and oh my goodness, this smells amazing. I put it on my wrists and I'm working on my computer. I'm literally just smelling my wrists all, all morning long. 
smells wonderful, wonderful. It's got Madagascar vanilla in it, okay? Um, but actually I put, I put this and then I put just a teeny bit of more of Madagascar vanilla and it just, oh, smells wonderful. Here's a, another a couple I know we did. I did give um, some of these before, um, but I just want to really highlight the use of this vanilla. Excuse me, if you don't have the vanilla yet, get it in your shopping cart because who knows, it, it might be sold out by the end of the month. Get it in your shopping cart. At least if it's in your cart, it's, it's being held for you. All right, but get it in there. Here's, a, here's another really um, neat one, blue lavender, right? So this, this, is the, um, this is the Evolve Convention Kit. Um, the, the, all of those bottles on the top, that's a, that's a separate purchase. So you, you buy your convention kit and you buy those bottles and I am using these um, and love them. And uh, you know, I'm going to continue learning about ways to use them and, and you know, um, but, I, but I've been using these, uh, those on guard, these right here, these little, um, these little tablets. Um, I took one this morning. I'll have to, I'll take another one after, after class and then another one this evening. You're supposed to take three of them a day. And what they do is they give you that support through the on guard blend, which we all know is just unbelievable, right? If you, if you have any questions about on guard, just look at some of my previous uh, Zoom classes. And I actually have one, um, I believe it's called the, um, the year of on guard. And literally I talk about the COVID and just, just how many people have found uh, um, help and support with the On Guard. Literally, On Guard was like sold out for months and months at a time, right? Um, because everybody was just buying it up, you know, with, with the COVID because it kills viruses. It kills viruses. It kills them in the air. It kills them in your body. These are, there are scientific studies. There are, all you have to do is go to your doTERRA uh, your main page, scroll down to the bottom and, and look at those ebooks. Okay. And you're going to see scientific studies that were done that actually show how that on guard kills viruses and bacteria. All right. They're just very, very good. But so having this being put into your body, ingesting it into your body three times a day. All right. Um, it's, it's, it's just really, really neat. So everybody needs to, you know, get those as well. But if you buy this kit, you get everything. You get that vanilla that I was talking about. Uh, you get the, um, uh, the, this Evolve that I was talking about, this wonderful blend. Plus you get all of these household items as well. So it's a really, really nice, uh, nice kit to have. Now, this is all of those oils that we just went through. All of those 10 foundational oils, as I like to say. These are the oils that you can have that would help to address almost anything from, from bug bites to, uh, to bruises, to, to, to head dandruff, to psoriasis, to digestion issues, to high blood pressure. Get these oils and get them working for you. Okay, very, very important. That is the end of my class. I'm going to go ahead and stop sharing. And then I'm going to 